Hi, in this video we are going to practice calculating the molar enthalpy change during heating and cooling. In the previous video, we explained that in some cases, the change in the enthalpy is equal to the heat transferred and that heat can be calculated using the following formula, Q equal NC delta T. Keep in mind that molar enthalpy change, we mean with it the change of the enthalpy per one mole of a pure substance. So the formula for calculating molar enthalpy change is going to be as follows. Delta H is equal to C multiplied by delta T, which is the molar heat capacity multiplied by the change in temperature. Keep in mind that the change in temperature should be in Kelvin. And let's have our first exercise. Welcome to Schooler, your online school. You may check your understanding by solving the end of video questions. And good luck. Calculate the molar enthalpy change when silver is heated from 20.5 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. The molar heat capacity of silver is 25.3 joules per Kelvin dot mole. We start with the given as usual. The initial temperature is 20.5 degrees Celsius. The final temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. And the molar heat capacity is equal to 25.3. And as I told you in the previous video, which you may find the link for it in the description box below, that we should convert the temperatures to Kelvin. And the formula to convert the temperatures from Celsius to Kelvin is T Kelvin equal to T Celsius plus 273.15. In some books, they just add 273. So we add 273.15 to the initial temperature. The answer is going to be 293.65 Kelvin. And also, we add 273.15 to the final temperature, and the answer is going to be 323.15 Kelvin. And now, I know that someone will tell me that, even though if we don't convert to Kelvin, the difference in temperature delta T will be the same. I know this is true, but it's better to practice the temperature in Kelvin, since as I told you earlier, that most of the temperature-related questions in chemistry the unit of the temperature must be in Kelvin. And now we write the formula for molar enthalpy change, delta H is equal to C multiplied by delta T. C it's the molar heat capacity, and delta T it's the change in temperature. It is the final temperature, which is 323.15 Kelvin, minus the initial temperature, which is 293.65 Kelvin. And after doing the calculation, the molar enthalpy change is equal to 746.35 joules per mole as you noticed the unit for molar enthalpy change is joules per mole and please notice that the value here is positive since you're going to see something else in the next exercise so the molar enthalpy change during heating is positive the molar heat capacity of iron is 25.1 joules per kelvin dot mole calculate the molar enthalpy change when iron is cooled from 8 Celsius degrees to 25 Celsius degrees. Always we write the given molar heat capacity of iron is 25.1. Initial temperature is 80 Celsius degrees and final temperature is 25 Celsius degrees. Then we convert the initial temperature to Kelvin by adding 273.15. The answer is going to be 353.15 Kelvin. And also we do the same with the final temperature. We add 273.15. The answer is going to be 298.15 Kelvin. Then we write the formula for molar enthalpy change. Delta H is equal to C multiplied by delta T. C is the molar heat capacity, which is 25.1. And delta T is the final temperature, which is 298.15 minus the initial temperature, which is 353.15. Since here the final temperature is less than the initial temperature, delta T will be negative, and the answer is going to be negative 1380.5 joules per mole. And as you noticed, the answer was negative because here we are cooling. So usually in cooling exercises, the molar enthalpy change is supposed to be negative. Just to summarize what we have learned today, during heating, the molar enthalpy change was positive. 
because it requires energy and the molar enthalpy change during cooling was negative so from now on when the change in the enthalpy is positive it means that the change is endothermic which means requires energy and when the change in the enthalpy is negative it means that the change is exothermic which means that it releases energy and now you are ready to solve the end of video questions if you are not repeat the video again otherwise solve the questions put your answer in the comments section if you have any question that i didn't cover in the video please share it with me in the comments section share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more videos see you in other videos and good luck